You would commonly use the inside of the foot to control an area ball that is coming towards you in a couple of situations. One, to control a ball that is dropping directly towards you from above. And two, a ball that is coming directly at your knee or waist height area. Now let's take a look at coaching this technique step by step. Step one, move the body into position directly under the path of the ball and keep eyes locked on the ball. Step two, raise the controlling foot up so that the inside of the foot is facing upwards towards the ball. Make sure that the foot is locked. Step three, connect the inside of the foot with the bottom of the ball and as soon as the ball connects, withdraw the foot downwards to cushion the ball and bring it down in front of the body. Step 1. Move the body behind the ball so that the ball is coming directly towards your waist or knee height area. Raise the controlling foot out in front of the body so that the inside of the foot is facing the ball. Bend the supporting leg for balance. Step 2. Receive the middle of the ball with the inside of the foot and withdraw the foot backwards on impact. The ball will drop in front of the body ready for the next play. Now let's take a look at how to demonstrate this skill to your young players. Now let's take a look at some common mistakes that young players make when performing this technique and solutions on how to fix them. Common mistake number one is that the player doesn't withdraw the foot on impact or alternatively brings the foot forward into the path of the ball and in both instances the ball bounces off away from the player. It's always important to remind the player to always withdraw the foot backwards to cushion the impact of the ball. Common mistake number two is that the ball goes out to the side because the controlling foot isn't square enough. Good technique is to have the foot square out at 90 degrees and locked when controlling the ball. Common mistake number three is that the player doesn't position themselves right behind the ball, making it hard for themselves to control the ball with their foot. Instead they stay in the same spot and try to reach for the ball. Another similar mistake to look for is that the player positions their body so that the ball is coming towards them at a different body part such as their thigh, but the player still tries to use their foot. It's important to remind the player to get behind the ball and position their body so that the ball is coming at feet height by the time the ball gets to their body.